afternoon, Bronx Arts Middles, Mr. Ruski on Monday, March 23rd, another day down with distant learning. Uh, for those that have finished their work for Monday, you're in good shape for what the next day's lesson is going to look like. So a little bit of a mute, uh, video and preview for tomorrow's classwork um, for March 24th. You're going to be writing a speech today, whether or not our country should declare war on Britain in the year 1812. The assignment will be posted in Google Classroom, just like all the assignments have been. At the top, you're going to see the date of the assignment and the time that it's due. It would be 4 p.m. on Tuesday, March 24th. And there's literally one task tomorrow. And that task is, should America declare war on Great Britain? You are acting as a member of Congress in 1812. Write a speech to Congress urging leaders to vote for or vote against America declaring war against Britain. So in your speech, you could go one way or the other way. You're either voting for war or you're voting against war. Uh, and you're urging the rest of the country to kind of follow your steps along the way. Some requirements for your speech. Your speech should include a minimum of three reasons that support your position. So if you're against the war, what are some reasons? You need to come up with at least three specific reasons. Explain each reason, reason and include evidence from your class resources. So you might want to use some of the resources that we've been covering um, from Monday's class, pro-war or anti-war, a whole bunch of videos from different people discussing their position. From Friday's work, should America declare war on Britain? Um, a short little scenario along the way, um, weighing the evidence itself. And then from last Wednesday, Thomas Jefferson as president, his foreign policy, a reading that could help you. So these three things could be the areas where you're getting your evidence from. You're collecting and explaining those reasons as you write your speech. Other requirements, your speech should include language that will persuade leaders in Congress to either vote for or vote against going to war in 1812. Your speech should be typed in body paragraphs and a minimum of one page in length. And you may type your speech below and turn in when finished. So if you'd like to continue right from here, um, you might want to start with good afternoon, fellow Congress men. That could be a heading. You can come up with your own heading. Um, it is the year 1812 and you are writing a speech to Congress urging them to either vote for the war or vote against the war. This is your task for tomorrow. We're going to check back in on Google Meet at 930 in the morning for any questions, any suggestions, any feedback. Um, if you did your work today, I'm really, really proud for it. Let's push that pace and energy as we get through this next week in class. Again, any other questions, please reach out to me through email um, and have a great afternoon. I will see you guys tomorrow, nice and early, 930, a little Google Meet. Have a great afternoon.